I asked you a question at the beginning here. What's the difference between the network uh, related attacks and system related attacks? Remember that we defined in unit number two, actually, the context of the malware, the virus and the malware, uh, sorry, the viruses and the worms. There are a list of differences in between this and that. And specifically, this is what <clears throat> it designs attacks towards systems and attacks towards networks. What does it mean? A virus, when it's not having the capability to travel from a device to another by itself. So this is an attack to a system. It's not an attack to a network. Yet the worm, when it has the capability to travel by itself without being attached or stimulated or let's say having a trigger to cause the infection of an environment by itself automatically to travel from a device to another. So it's a network attack. So malware, they're classified into groups. Virus is a very good example to uh, draw an image. Attacking a system, the worms, they are another category of uh, malware, but they are actually attacking networks. Networks, a worm is uh, a malware at the end of the day. So it's it's a sort of a virus, but it does not infect a device. It infects a network, a full network. So based on that, we see the differences. So we'll never talk about the payload to execute using a virus, or the payload to execute using a worm. Thus, we see the differences. More or less. Chapter number three, actually, it is discussing the protection of the systems uh, general in general way. Actually, we have some aspects we have to recognize in order to harden the operating system. The system means the OS, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Unix, Linux, Ubuntu, Fedora, Kali, all of those, they are operating systems. And here we talk about the system. When you talk about the system protection, it is the operating system. It's a device. We are not going to talk about the hardware protection uh, straightforward. We have to talk about the OS first because this is the interface from where, uh, let's say, a malware starts if it will attack a hardware. So the system he meant is the operating system mainly. And we know whenever we talk about the uh, system protection, there are uh, communication channels via which we have to secure in order to protect against system attacks. I believe it's clear, and if you have any questions, you may raise them, please. There are three uh, approaches we are going to go after in order to protect an operating system. First of all, and uh, the most important, is the recognition of the needed security updates. When and how to uh, set them, means how to update an operating system and when. And the updates here, they are related, they have to be related to security functions. Second um, approach is to protect the OS from a specific, let's say, attack, which is the buffer overflow. The buffer overflow, which is a kind of an attack via which we, sh we see the volatile memory being compromised and being uh, attacked. We we'll define that in details. The, the volatile memory, we talk about the RAM. It will be compromised by malware. So there will be no capability to run. The, the computer will be stuck. So we'll protect against, we'll talk about the protection against such attacks. This is actually an access point to the operating system. So we, we have to protect against it. Then, then the third approach is to make the necessary configuration to the operating system in order to control the totality of the entry points into the operating system. So the necessary configuration here, set by the operating system to protect against any attack or any vulnerability at the level of the operating system still. So three approaches, updates related to security, buffer overflow attacks specifically. Um, so we are talking about uh, RAM attacks or something like that. It's hardware, but it is to be controlled by the operating system only. Then the configuration, the management, the setup, the, yes, the well 
behavior of the operating system. Those are three approaches we wish we may talk about. A hardened operating system, hardened. To harden or hardening an operating system. So a hardened operating system is the one that has been already, <coughs> let's say, managed based on those three approaches. Any questions, please? What are some many questions? No, thank you. <clears throat> no, Mr. Okay, great. Uh, <coughs> I said, that, actually, sorry for that. Uh, I said at the beginning that the updates, they are related to security, and we have to recognize what are the updates in order to you know, um, set them up. If you actually, if I just, I'm going to bring your attention into an image, if we say uh, that we're going to pass the command system info on top of the CMD, the black screen, system info, <coughs> we see so many entries, and actually so many outputs. And most of them, the list of the updates set on this computer, on the given computer, system info, which will list the list of the uh, updates set up. What are the updates? We give us actually serial numbers, sort of, let's say, yes, numbers and letters. What are those updates? Are you able to identify the updates based on those numbers? Actually, if you are technically and specifically specialized in this uh, matter, you recognize. Otherwise, you not understand what are those num numbers is for sure. Just an info. <coughs> uh, so here, 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 the context of the updates is just to bring the last functionality, the up-to-date, the up-to-date, function related to a given um, yes, process <clears throat> from the origin the updates for example of the operating system windows 10 will not ask your friend to give it to you or any shop to give it to you or any website public website to give it to you no it has to be only from microsoft to trust it The purpose here is not to know only from where to get the updates, because we're going to discuss that. You have absolutely updates, they have to be from the origin. Windows 10 means Microsoft. Ubuntu, for example, it has to be from Linux, something like that. So from the origin, from the correct origin. Great. The, the, the problem is that the updates, they are not only to secure you, but they cause a complexity because of the size. Updates means files, means space and memory, means many codes, a long list of codes and commands that the system has to control. They are causing entry points, maybe, that can be explored later on. <coughs> so here, the updates, they are causing, they are causing the updates, not only the security updates, but the totality of the updates they are causing complexity to add complexity at the level of the operating system. And this complexity, it is to increase the vulnerability chances and the attack chances and let's say the exploitation success. Chances whenever we talk about exploitation means we are searching for security breaches. Yeah, okay, because if you do not know you as a system owner, if you do not know what are those updates for, you may leave them there, and they are at the, at the time that where they are actually calling, or let's say showing, entry points. <laughs> at the time, so they are causing a clear vulnerability. To make you understand what does it mean complexity caused by updates only, see the first entry here. We are talking about an MS DOS, the command prompt, the Shesha Soda, the black screen, uh, the first operating system given birth by Microsoft. And you talk about the, the mother of the Windows 10, which is the Windows Vista. Windows 10 is a driven operating system from the Windows Vista. The comparison here is not when they have been released, no. The, comp the comparison here is in the number of the statements given or let's say operating this operating system here we are talking about four thousands only four thousands commands lines let's say of codes 
here in the Windows Vista, we are talking about more than 50 million lines of code. You as a human being, all of us, is it easier to control for thousands or 50 million? Absolutely for thousands. Here the 50 million, you as a, all of us as a humans, we will fail to control those 50 million lines and more, not only 50 million, more than 50 million lines. It's not easy. It's not something to do actually. And even if you can, you not do it in just one hour. You do it, you do it in one year to finish those 50 million lines of control, actually, the analysis to do. So here is a big complexity that the updates, they are shown to uh, security uh, experts. It's not easy to control 4,000. So what to talk about 50 million? It's uh, almost not possible. So here we stop at this time. I'll stop the, I'll call you, I'll take the attendance and then give you the recording just right after.